NVMe SSD has become more common nowadays and today what we have here is a brand new SSD from Clef. This is the Clef Cross C720 M.2. So judging from its PCIe Gen 3 protocol and I will say this is a more affordable option for every PC builders and gamers out there. And Clef actually offers a different storage options from 256GB up to 2TB if you are looking for more storage options. So without further ado, let us just unbox and see what you get inside the box. The Clef Cross C720 M.2 comes in a fairly simple box. You got the product image at the front and all the product information at the back. So what you get in the box is just the Clef Cross C720 M.2 SSD. There's no paper documentation as everything is printed at the back of the box. So it has been a week since we unboxed the new Cross C720 M.2 SSD and we have put it to our test on our test bench. If you're interested to learn more about our test bench, there should be a spec list right over here. And in overall, we find this SSD to be a very decent SSD for whatever it has to offer. And especially with their sequential read and write, it lives up to whatever they have claimed at the behind of the specification. The random read write um, of performance is also uh, reasonable. Not that I would say it is so so or whatsoever, but it lives up to whatever we expect from Clef because they have uh, released quite a number of good uh, SSDs all this while. And one thing I want to point out is, of course, when we unbox this thing, whatever you get is just the SSD and there is no heatsink or special thermal pad or something like that. There is a pros and cons for this thing because number one, you can actually use a lot of uh, those motherboard uh, heatsinks and without the heatsink, uh, the SSD can get quite hot when you are doing a lot of writing operations on it. And it can get up to around 60 degrees if you I mean, if you don't have a good case with good airflow and everything like that. But once you put on a decent heatsink on motherboard and you give a decent airflow inside the case, the C720 can go as slow as a 50 degrees at load. So that is a pretty important factor you need to look into it. The Clef Class C720 uses the latest revision of the Fison E12S controller and 3D TLC NAND flash. Yes, you heard that right. Instead of moving on to the budget-friendly QLC NAND flash, Clef has decided to stay on with TLC NAND that offers long-term reliability. So overall, it is a very good SSD to get you started. Of course, if you plan to buy this to use as a secondary drive, fine. Just that I think it is kind of overkill because this SSD can easily use for your primary drive unless you got a way faster PCIe Gen 4, for example, the Crust 920 M.2. Otherwise, uh, for the price, we are still not sure about the local pricing. If we have all the pricing information, I will try to include it in the description or inside the video here. Otherwise, uh, it is a really good SSC if you plan to buy it for primary storage or even a secondary storage. So that's all I want to share with you about the Clef. Crash C720 M.2. If you guys have any questions or anything you just want to ask, you can leave them down in the comment section below and we will try to answer whatever and whenever we can. So I'll see you guys in the next video.